I am going to put a transfer on this piece right here in the Iron Orchid Design Redo. It has been used for another project, a chair, but I still have a lot left. I also wanted to show you the Midnight Garden. I've used this on a project and have the bird and parts of it left. So these are a one-time use, but they can be cut and used for multiple projects or put in the full sheet on your piece. So this piece, I'm gonna go ahead and go down here, was a clock. I love it so much. I actually bought a building that I was putting a salon in and the storefront had um, 14 foot ceilings and I needed a clock. And when you're buying a building, you don't spend a lot of money on extras, but this was so precious and so pretty to me um, that I went ahead and spent the money to celebrate the new business I was going to do. But as time went on, my clock died, it broke. So this has a pretty thick base. So I just took some material and put on there and then never did anything else with it. I always meant to put a, um, you know, initial or something on here. Now the Chevron is not very relevant. It's kind of going out of style, but I'm still gonna do it because I crazily think this flowers looks good with the Chevron and I can always change the material later. But I just wanted to show you how good this goes on glass. It can go on mirrors, it can go on wood, it can go on walls. If you are putting a transfer on a clay or chalk based piece, they suggest to seal it first, like with a water based top coat. I sell DIY paint and love it. And so I'm going to use Big Top for my sealer. Um, you can do it without that, but most chalk and clay based paints have to have a wax for sealer and they do not suggest putting your transfers over wax. Has it been done? Yes. Has it been okay? Yes. but I cannot guarantee that. They don't guarantee that. You need to uh, sand the wax off if you have a piece you want to do. Just lightly sand it off and clean it with some alcohol. And then you can place your transfer over it. Or go ahead and put a polyurethane, um, polyacrylic water base on it. And you do have to seal these with wax or water-based um, acrylic or polyurethane as well. Okay, so these transfers, you open them up. I can mail out. I have a website, decorizingyourlife.com, and you can have these shipped to you. This redo is a uh, distressed image. So it's already distressed, and you can also take a fine grit sandpaper and distress it even a little more. So I actually think that is the one I want to use. So I love the grid lines. I just think that's genius. It can help you line up a piece or it can help you know how to cut it and divide your image. So right now I am going to cut the part out that I want. And you wanna make sure the backing stays on because you don't want dirt or finger oil under there so that it um, doesn't stick to your piece. The other thing is when you decide to take the backing off, you do not want to let it fold into each other. So, because it'll run your transfer. So take it, kind of have it up. And you hoover over the item that you want to do. Kind of hoover until you get it placed, you know, because you might want it here, you might want it there. I think I'm gonna do pretty much centered. So you stick it and it will slightly stick. Just kind of rub your hand over it. I'm actually not even going to have to seal this piece because on glass and mirror, you really don't have to, it really adheres. But if you're gonna put this outside or if you're gonna put it on your business glass door like I did, you need a UV protectant so that it doesn't fade the image because it will fade. I've tried it and it did fade. It did come off, but it did fade. So now you take the stick. This is an unbreakable stick. It's really nice. And you just do this until it comes off on your piece. You want to be pretty strong, but you don't want to put so much pressure that you dig in and you can mar your image. I've done that. 
And then you can pull it back and see if it's adhering. And it is doing amazing. And if, okay, see how that's getting translucent so you can kind of know it's coming off. But sometimes it's off and you don't know it. But you just keep pulling it back. To me, this updates the chevron. I don't know. I love it. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I probably won't change it. I think this would look great with leopard behind there, too. But I'm a sucker for yellow, so probably going to just leave it just like this. This would be really pretty to take them and put some red on this wood, but I kind of like it like this. So if you pull this down and like there's a tiny little piece of a leaf right there, you can't see it on this film probably, just lay it back down and just go back over it. See, it's gone. If you go to my Decorizing Your Life Facebook page, I have done a lot of lives on these. You can watch some more. I just did a chair, a vintage chair last night. It's probably a 70s, maybe 80s. It's probably 80s. I don't know. Kind of a Brady Bunch style is what I would call it. And I put this on the front and the back and it was adorable. So see right here, you can see how that did not get on there. So you just lay it back down. There's some right there. So I could have cut that and just done the blossoms and not the leaves. There's just multiple ways. All the Iron Orchid design products mixed together, the molds, the stamps, and the transfers, the designs all work together. And it is so fun to layer all three of those products together to give more dimension. So when they design the products, the sisters that created this company, they think about timeless designs and they think about them all functioning together and layering and working. So it's not like something that's going to go out of style. So there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? So then you take your finger and you just kind of rub over it slowly. I did an old window and it had multiple panes in it and I let the transfer go over the panes. It had a crack in it and that's why I used it for my example so I can advertise for a class. But I, was, I wasn't thinking and I pressed too hard on my transfer and almost pushed the glass all the way through. So for one, that could have been dangerous. And so that's something to think about. If you have a cracked mirror or window that you're wanting to do, be careful when you're, I mean, it can be done. Like I could have held it up under and done it and I just, I wasn't even thinking about that happening. So that is a caution. So then what you would do is you could take this and there's a shiny sign and a not shiny sign. If you get it wrong, it's not gonna hurt it. And take it and kinda, cause you're burnishing the image into your piece. Of course, it's not gonna really burnish into glass or mirror, but that is what you're trying to do. You're trying to get it to meld into that better. And then you could take a soft cloth. I'm not gonna have to on glass, it just goes really good. And just kind of go over it with a soft cloth. And you don't wanna go too fast and too crazy because if you didn't get all of it down, I have went too crazy with it and it tore it off onto my um, cloth. And I lost some of the image, which it still looked great. But that's something, you know, kind of go slow, take your time, but is this not gorgeous? I'm gonna pull this back away a little bit so you can see it bigger. It's a really, big piece. Is that not gorgeous? I love that. And here's a piece that I'm working on. It is absolutely not done yet. Whoops, there goes my light. Right there. Okay, I'm taking this off. And this will not be edited because I do not know how to do that. <laughs> 